Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Ratios as Percents. Let's review what a percent is. A percent just means part of 100. We can use percentages to compare only part to whole ratios. So what does that mean? Let's take a look at this group of objects. Can I use a percentage to compare stars to all? Well, since stars is a part and all is the whole, yes. What about if I had stars to boxes? In this case, stars is a part and boxes are a part, so I cannot use this for a percentage to compare. What about all the stars? I do use a whole in this ratio. However, it's not written second, and that makes a difference. So I cannot use all to stars. I cannot use a percent to describe that ratio. Finally, we have boxes to all. Boxes is a part and all is a whole. So yes, I can use a percent to describe boxes to all. Notice that in my yes column, it doesn't matter what my part is. My whole is always going to be written second. And here, usually we use all to represent our whole. So let's review a little bit about what a ratio is. We know that it is a comparison between two quantities. And we know the ratio of boxes to all here is going to be the boxes, which are one, two, and the all, which is all five of these objects. So we can write our ratio in one of these three ways. Let's look specifically at our fraction. Because we know how to convert a fraction to a decimal and a decimal to a percent, we can convert a ratio to a percent. We'll start by converting two-fifths into a decimal. Remember our numerator two goes inside the division box and our five goes outside our denominator. So we notice that we cannot fit any groups of five into two, so we have zero. Zero times five is going to give us zero. We'll subtract and we'll end up with two. And then we're going to bring down. To bring down, we had to add a decimal. So remember when you place your decimal inside the division house, you need to make sure that you also place your, your decimal in your quotient. Now I'm ready to bring down my zero. This time I can see four goes into five. I'm sorry, four goes in, um, to 25 times. So four times five is 20. When I subtract, I get zero for my remainder, so I'm done. So let's take our decimal, four tenths, and convert it to a percent. I know that when I am going from a decimal to a percent, I'm going to be moving my decimal place two places to the right. So I end up with 40%. So you could say that I have 40% boxes out of the number of objects in my original problem. Let's try a couple more examples. Pause the video and see if you can find what percent are pepperoni and what percent are not polka dot. Hopefully you had some time to look at this. So I count my pepperoni and I see I have one, two, three, four, five out of a total of eight. So that's five eighths. I'll convert 5 eighths into a decimal, and then I'll convert that into a percent. So I should have gotten 62 and a half percent. On the what percent are not polka dot, because I only have one polka dot, I'm going to look at the ones that are striped. Whenever it tells you that you are not looking for something, it means you're looking for the other object. So I have three out of four that are striped, which is 75%. That wraps up our video. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you'll always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.